It seems intuitive that ambulance diversion when emergency departments are temporarily full might be problematic for patients experiencing acute MIs, where time lost, of course, equals muscle loss. But up till now, there was little evidence to show whether diversion is associated with worse patient outcomes. Now in JAMA, there is a report on whether ambulance diversion hours of the nearest ED is associated with increased mortality rates among patients with heart attacks. The researchers very simply looked at the percentage of patients with MI who died within 7, 30, 90 days, 9 months, and 1 year from admission when their nearest ED was not on diversion and when that same ED had varying hours of diversion out of 24 hours on the day of admission. The findings are quite remarkable. Based on analysis of close to 12,000 patients, there were no statistically significant differences in mortality rates between no diversion and less than 12 hours of diversion. However, when you get to more than 12 hours of diversion, this was associated with higher 30-day mortality versus no diversion status higher 90-day mortality, higher nine-month mortality, and higher one-year mortality. Clearly, long hours of ED diversion is not a good thing for patients. I'm Peter Block, and this is a CardiSource Heart Minute.